The triple five timer IC is one of my favorite ICs. I have been using this timer IC for years in different electronics based projects for generating pulses, delays, insecurity systems, automation projects and so on. You have no idea the things you can make with this small low cost timer IC. The triple five timer is one of the most widely known and simple integrated circuits on the market. It can be used in many ways using different modes, monostable, A-stable and bistable, with each mode used to produce a specific effect. In this episode, I'm going to explain all the three modes with the help of a 3D model designed in SolidWorks. We will practically test each circuit in Proteus simulation software and also on the breadboard. In this episode, you will also learn how to make an automatic street lights control system using the triple five timer IC and an LDR. But before I'm going to explain different types of circuits that you can build with a triple five timer IC, first let's start with the very basics of the triple five timer IC. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The triple five timer IC has a total of eight pins, each having a specific function. The pins are oriented according to the indicator dot on the chip. In the image, the dot is located on the upper left corner of the chip, representing the location of pin number one, which is the ground pin. Pin number 2 is the trigger, pin number 3 is the output, pin number 4 is the reset, pin number 5 is the control voltage, pin number 6 is the threshold, pin number 7 is the discharge and pin number 8 is the VCC. As per the data sheet, the maximum voltage can be up to 16 volts, but in my case I'll be using 12 volts. Two other pictures of the timer ICs are available which are double five six and double five eight the double five six timer ic has two timing circuits which is also known as the dual timer while the double five eight timer ic has a total of four timing circuits which is also known as the quad timer why is it called triple five timer this is one of the most commonly asked questions it is called a triple five timer because of its internal circuit. There are three five kilo ohm resistors in the IC which are connected in series between the VCC and ground and are used to supply two thirds of the supplied voltage VCC to the inverting pin of the first voltage comparator and one third of the VCC to the non inverting input of the second voltage comparator. This is the more simplified inside diagram of the triple five timer IC. As you can see clearly, three five kilo ohm resistors are connected between the VCC pin number eight and ground pin number one. This makes the voltage divider circuit, which create two reference voltages, one third and two third of the VCC applied voltage. It has two voltage comparators marked with plus and minus. Plus is the non-inverting input while the minus is the inverting input. A voltage comparator is an electronic device that is used to compare voltages. The output of the voltage comparator depends on the voltages available at the inverting and non-inverting inputs. If the voltage available at the non-inverting input is greater than the voltage available at the inverting input then the output of the voltage comparator will be high and vice versa. The two reference voltages two third and one third of the VCC are connected with the inverting and non-inverting inputs of the two voltage comparators. The inverting input of the first comparator is also connected with the control voltage pin while the non-inverting input of the first comparator is connected with the threshold pin 
and the inverting input of the second comparator is connected with the trigger pin. Now the output of these two comparators can be controlled using the trigger threshold and control voltage pins of the 555 timer IC. Finally the results of the comparison of the two comparators which is in the form of 0 or 1 is given to the flip flop. The output of the first comparator is connected with the R pin of the flip flop while the output of the second comparator is connected with the S pin of the flip flop. The output of the flip-flop is 1 when R is equal to 0 and S is equal to 1. The output of the flip-flop is 0 when R is equal to 1 and S is equal to 0. The output Q bar is connected with the base of the NPN transistor and also with the output stage which has the inverter which converts 1 into 0 and 0 into 1. So if the output of the flip-flop is 1, then the output of the triple five timer IC will be low. And if the output of the flip-flop is 0, then the output of the triple five timer IC will be high. Moreover, you can reset the flip-flop using the triple five timer IC external pin reset, which resets the entire triple five timer IC. The output of the voltage comparator 1 is high because the voltage available at the non-inverting input is greater than the voltage available at the inverting input which is 6 volts. Similarly, the output of the voltage comparator 2 is low as the voltage available at the non-inverting input is less than the voltage available at the inverting input. The flip-flop converts 0 into 1 which turns on the transistor which connects the discharge pin of the triple five timer IC with the ground, the output of the IC triple five timer will be zero. As the output stage has the inverter which converts one into zero. So now that you know about the basic working principle of the triple five timer IC, it's time to discuss the different modes of operation. The triple five timer IC has three modes of operation which are monostable. A stable and bistable mode. Let's see how the triple five timer IC works in the monostable mode. This time I added R1, C1, R2 and a switch S1. As you can see R1 is connected in series with a capacitor C1. This is an electrolyte capacitor. The positive leg of the capacitor is connected with the resistor while the ground leg of the capacitor is connected with the ground. The discharge pin and the non-inverting input of the first voltage comparator are connected between the R1 and C1. The VCC is 12 volts. One side of the resistor R2 is connected with the VCC while the other side of the R2 is connected with the switch S1 while the other side of the S1 is connected with the ground. A wire from the middle of the R2 and switch S1 is connected with the inverting input of the second voltage comparator which is the trigger pin of the triple five timer IC. When the switch S1 is open, R2 keeps the trigger input high by connecting it with the supply voltage VCC. Due to this, the voltage on the inverting input will be greater than the voltage available on the non-inverting input which is one third of the VCC. So the output of the second voltage comparator will be zero which is given as input to the flip-flop S pin. We get one at the Q bar which turns on the transistor and discharges the capacitor C1. So this way the voltage available at the inverting input of the first voltage comparator two-third of the VCC is greater than the voltage available on the non-inverting input Due to this, the output of the first voltage comparator will also be zero, so the output of the triple five timer IC remains low. To make the output of the triple five timer IC high, we need to press the switch S1, which is a push button. The time we press the switch S1, the trigger pin is pulled low and the comparator outputs one, which is given as the input to the flip-flop. The Q bar gives zero which keeps the transistor off, due to which now the R1 will charge the capacitor C1. Meantime, the output of the triple five timer IC remains high. 
is the capacitor is charged and the voltage reaches two-third of the VCC the output of the triple five timer goes low so the on time of the triple five timer depends on the value of the resistor R1 and capacitor C1 large value capacitors will take a lot of time to charge we can calculate the time by using this formula the triple five timer IC in the a stable mode X is the oscillator which is also known as the free running multi vibrator in the a stable mode the output of the IC triple five timer continuously switches between the high and low states this is a basic circuit diagram of the triple five timer in the a stable mode the non inverting and inverting inputs of the two voltage comparators are connected together and then connected with the middle of the R2 and C1. Two resistors R1 and R2 are connected in series with the capacitor C1. A wire from the middle of R1 and R2 is connected with the IC triple five timer discharge pin. Now let's see how this works. When we power up the circuit, the resistors R1 and R2 will start charging the capacitor C1. You know it takes time to charge a capacitor. During the charging process, the voltage on the trigger pin of the triple five timer remains lower than the one third of the VCC, due to which the comparator outputs one, which is given is the input to the flip flop, and the Q bar gives zero, which keeps the transistor in off state while the output of the triple five timer IC remains high. Now this output will remain high until the capacitor C1 charges to the point where the voltage available on the trigger pin gets higher than the voltage available on the non-inverting input of the second voltage comparator. The output of the threshold comparator is zero as the capacitor continues to charge. Now for the low output, let's say the capacitor C1 is fully charged or charged enough that the voltage at the trigger pin is greater than the one-third of VCC. The output of the second comparator will be zero and the output of the first comparator will be one. The Q bar will output one which will turn on the transistor and connects the R1 with the ground. The capacitor C1 then discharges, due to which the voltage reduces and the comparator's outputs are changed this keeps the triple five timer IC output low. Same value resistors will give you the same duty cycle, changing the values of R1 and R2, the on time and off time can be adjusted. For the variable on and off times, replace R1 and R2 with variable resistors. You can use these formulas for calculating the on time, off time and period of one complete cycle. Now finally we will see how the triple five timer IC works in the bistable mode. The reset pin is connected with the middle of the R1 and switch S1 while the switch is open. R1 keeps the reset pin at logic level high. The inverting pin of the second voltage comparator is connected with the R2 and S2. While the S2 is open, the trigger pin is kept high by the R2 as it supplies the VCC to the inverting pin of the voltage comparator. While the non-inverting input of the first voltage comparator will be connected with the ground, due to which the output of the first voltage comparator will always be zero. Now let's see how this works. Let's consider that no switch is initially pressed. The voltage available at the inverting input of the second comparator is 12 volts which is greater than the voltage available at the non-inverting input. This comparator outputs zero which is fed to the S pin of the flip-flop and then the Q bar outputs one which is converted into zero by the output stage so the output of the triple five timer will be low. This output will remain low until we press the switch S2. Now let's consider that the switch S2 is pressed. This will pull the inverting input of the comparator to ground due to which the voltage available on the non-inverting input gets high than the voltage available on the inverting input. So the comparator 
generates one at the output which is given is input to the S pin of the flip flop and then the Q bar output zero and the timer output becomes high. The output stage has an inverter which converts one into zero and zero into one. This output will remain high until we press the switch S1. So now after covering the basics, it's time to make some basic intermediate and advanced level projects using the triple five timer IC. The triple five timer power on delay circuit can be used in different projects where you need to turn on a specific load for a certain amount of time. In this project the triple five timer IC is used in the monostable mode. The purpose of this project is to turn on the load for a few seconds each time the button is pressed or a sensor is activated. This triple five timer based delay circuit can also be used in security systems for turning on the buzzer for a certain time period which can be calculated using the formula already discussed. As you know the VCC can be up to 16 volts but I'm going to use 12 volts as a 12 volt adopter can be easily arranged. As you can see I have used a 12 volt regulator LM7812. The output of the 12 volt regulator is connected with the VCC of the IC555 timer and the ground of the regulator is connected with the ground pin of the 555 timer. The resistor R2 is connected in series with the capacitor C1 which makes the RC circuit. The time delay depends on the R2 and C1. Changing the value of R2 or C1, the time delay can be changed. The discharge and the shoal pins of the 555 timer IC are connected with the middle of the R2 and C1. The R1 and a push button are connected in series. The other side of the push button is connected with the ground. For the best understanding, I have connected an LED at the output pin of the 555 timer IC. Later, in other examples, I will explain how you can replace this with a transistor to control higher loads. This is the simulation of the triple five timer based on off switch. In this small project, the triple five timer IC is used in the bistable mode. The connections are exactly the same as explained earlier. The LED connected at the output can be turned on and turned off using two push buttons. This is the circuit diagram of the triple five timer based on off system. Let's check this on a breadboard. In this project, the triple five timer IC is used in the A stable mode. The two variable resistors can be used to vary the on time and off time. The working of the triple five timer IC in the A stable mode is already explained in very detail. If you want the perfect square wave of the same duty cycle, then use the resistors of the same value. The on time and off time depends on the values of the resistors and capacitor C1.
seriously an amazing project and no doubt this is one of my favorite projects. This is a very small project built around a few electronic components. In this project you will learn how to make an automatic street light control system using triple five timer IC and an LGR. You can also use this circuit in lawns. Before I'm going to explain the circuit, first I would like to explain why we need this circuit in the first place and how this project works. A lot of electricity is wasted when there is no automatic switching. The lights remain on in the morning because there is no one to switch off the street lights or lawn lights. This results in increased bills and wastes a lot of electricity. For such a small project, it's not practical to use the Arduino board. Such a simple task can be accomplished by using the triple five timer IC. This way we can keep the project overall cost low. When the darkness is detected by the LDR, the triple five timer turns on the street lights or lawn lights. The circuit should be placed in the area where the street lights never fall on the LDR. In the morning when the sunlight falls on the LGR, the street lights are automatically turned off. At the output of the triple five timer IC an LD is connected which you can replace with a relay to control higher AC or DC loads. An LGR light dependent resistor is connected in series with a 10k variable resistor or potentiometer. The advantage of using the variable resistor is that we can adjust the light sensitivity by rotating the knob of the variable resistor. The LGR and the variable resistor makes a voltage divider. A wire from the middle of this voltage divider is connected with the trigger pin of the triple five timer IC. The voltage on the trigger pin varies as the light intensity changes. If you have watched this video right from the beginning and the things I have already explained, at this point you should be able to figure out how the output of the triple five timer changes is the voltage changes on the trigger pin of the triple five timer IC. The voltage on the trigger pin of the IC, which is the inverting input of the comparator, which is coming from the voltage divider formed by the LDR and variable resistor is compared with the voltage available on the non-inverting input of the comparator. So when the voltage on the inverting input is greater or lower than the voltage on the non-inverting input, the output is controlled accordingly, which is an automatic operation. Let's check this circuit on the breadboard and see if this works in the same way. Initially I connected an LED directly with the output pin through a 1K resistor. As you can see it can be successfully turned on and turned off depending on the light intensity. But as I am using a fixed value resistor that's why I am not able to adjust the light sensitivity. Now to control the sensitivity I am going to replace this fixed value resistor with a variable resistor. Now you can see I can adjust the sensitivity and now it's even able to detect the shadows. This time I used 2 and 2222 NPN transistor to control this LED. This transistor can be used to control a relay which can be used to control higher loads. Apart from the street lights, this circuit can be used in areas where you need to control anything on the time basis. So many other projects can be built using the triple five timer IC. 
I will try to add more projects based on the triple five timer. I hope this tutorial helps you. If you have any suggestions or questions, let me know in a comment. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.